Let me show you how I edited this vlog that I filmed with my GoPro in Camtasia 2021. Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here from Esatino Media showing you how to create profitable content. All right, so I wanna show you my process on how I edit my GoPro vlogs. So let me just show you the vlog that I'm talking about. It's a four minute vlog, but I assure you, I'm gonna show you some golden nuggets here in Camtasia. All right, so it is Thursday at 5.23 p.m. Every Thursday at 6 p.m. PST, we do a weekly live stream called the Esatino Weekly Mastermind. So this is a vlog showing us setting up for the live stream. We're actually in a different location right now. We're in this hotel room because we rented it to do a filming marathon. And we actually ended up filming 16 videos, which was really crazy. I even had a coaching call as well with a client and we're gonna be doing a live stream. So technically it was like 18 videos that we were doing. So let's get started setting up for the live stream. <laughs> Here we go, 20 seconds. This is what it looks like behind the scenes. I have water, I have my notes, oh, I have props. I don't have water. You're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> you are screwed if you do not have water. It's okay, I'll make it. Okay, here Five we go. seconds. Five seconds. And then we are going to press the live button here. So now we're gonna go, go live, go live. And then we play this button, which plays the music. There we go. And then it starts, the countdown starts. And then we're just here behind the scenes. 20 seconds. Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel and Dorit here. Hello. And welcome to the Esatino Weekly Mastermind, episode number 92. Yes, welcome everybody to another Thursday Mastermind live stream. We have the GoPro joining us today. It's a little bit out of character if you're a regular here, but we're actually doing a behind the scenes vlog showing you what it's like setting this up. So that's gonna be released on the channel pretty soon. For those of you are, who are new here, my name is Orit and this is Jewel, and we're founders of Estatino Media, where we <laughs> just ended the live stream. I call it live stream instead of live stream. The oh, before you click, ended. before was, you click out of that, I was let gonna me give it a thumbs yeah. up. Hold on a second. <laughs> the broadcast. How did it go? Has ended. Was it bad? No, it was great. <laughs> Ta-da. So that four minute vlog took me less than two hours to edit. Personally, I don't have five plus hours to edit one video. So I've got to keep my edits as fast as possible. The so first thing is I like to film vlogs with the GoPro. It's really lightweight. 
really easy to use. You literally just press one button to turn it on. I like the super wide angle lens so that I know that I'm always in the shot. I'm never not going to be in the shot in a GoPro. It allows me to actually get the vlog filmed. If I were to film with a DSLR and a heavier camera, oh my god, it would take forever. It would be heavy. I'd be paranoid of it breaking. When I film with GoPro, I film for the edit. So I learned that phrase and that technique from these high-end professional videographers that do way crazier stuff than I do, but they always say they film for the edit. And what that means is they think about the shots that they're going to get and they actually prepare for them, which makes the filming much more direct and much easier and the editing much more direct and much more easier. So that's exactly what I did for this specific vlog. I knew exactly how it was gonna go. And as you can see, it was a behind the scenes setup vlog. So I knew that I was gonna be basically having the GoPro on a tripod for the majority of the time, leave it there while I run in and out of the camera setting it up. And also filming for the edit, specifically with the GoPro, I film in short, clips. I do not leave the GoPro running for minutes and minutes and minutes at a time because the footage becomes really large, difficult to work with, and in my opinion takes a longer time to scrub through and find the action point of the video. My vlogs are usually high energy, fun, and so I want to film those kind of parts. So as you can see here, as I'm going through, I usually have like a bunch of clips, but they're very small clips. They're usually not more than a minute long. Like this one's 40 seconds, this one's 43 seconds. If I were to have everything all in one clip, it might have been like 10-15 minutes, and that, in my opinion, that would have been, would have been much more annoying to go through. So this right here on the timeline is the whole final project and what it looks like. And I'm just going to break it down for you. So the first layer, track one, if I do have music in my vlog, it's always going to go on track one because I'm always building up. You, you basically build in layers, right? So I personally like to have the music down at the bottom because I'm typically not going to be playing around with it and it can just be out of the way. I may do some clips here and there, so I have a clip of music here and then a clip of music at the end. I do have sound effects and I don't put them at the bottom. So here are how my vlogs usually go. I usually do some sort of intro outlining basically what this vlog is going to be about. And so you saw me going, hey, it's Thursday at 5.23 p.m. And, you know, I'm explaining where I am, I'm doing a filming marathon, and I'm about to show you a behind the scenes. So I'm always doing like a beginning clip, just very quickly. It's usually less than a minute. In this case, it was, again, 40 seconds about me explaining what this vlog's going to be about. Then... Here is the actual meat of the vlog, right? The actual action part. So like I mentioned, I film in short clips. So I would film chunks at a time. So I filmed me walking in and bringing this table, and then I went to go set it up, and then I turned off the camera. And then in another clip, I'm opening the windows here, and then I fall on the couch, and then I turned off the camera. And I kept doing that until we got the whole setup done. Then I'm kind of doing like a lead up to the countdown of the actual live stream. I'm building the anticipation of actually going live. So this is another speaking part. And then what it looks like behind the scenes and then what it looks like live on YouTube. And then ending the vlog. It's very short, very to the point. These are the kinds of vlogs that I like to do. Short, to the point, fun, exciting. Now here are a couple key things. For, so for the setup scene, if you noticed, there's a lot of like, it's like jump cuts, right? This is what it actually looked like. I'll play the first clip here. So what I actually did was 
I went through and because this clip is short, I can easily scrub through it and see what parts I like. I liked me bringing in the actual table and then I didn't like this part because, you know, my butt's showing, so I opted to go for the side shot here, but you're seeing it anyways. <laughs> I liked this shot of me pushing it through and the sound that it made, and then I liked me actually clipping the table. And so if you see from this part here, you can see that I shortened it down significantly. So I'll play it here. So the initial clip was 40 seconds, but I only took 13 seconds of it. So I chopped and I only chose like the exciting parts. And you can see that I did that throughout this whole thing, just literally doing like a jump cut, only doing the, the very exciting parts of the actual setup and, and stuff that actually made like loud noises to get a feel for the setup, right? Because this whole thing is a behind the scenes live stream setup. And then this part right here, which is significant because it's the, the dual screen, right? So I have this, which is the, the GoPro footage, and then this part right here, which is the live stream that I downloaded from my YouTube channel. And I'm putting them side by side, making this one smaller because this one is more of what I'm focusing on, which is the behind the scenes. And I put these two things of text here, and I did align them exactly the same audio points so that you can see it, both footage going simultaneously, what it looks like from both camera angles, which I thought was really cool. And another thing that I like to do at the end of my vlogs is I usually try to end it with something funny, something weird, some exciting point, and then I usually have like a text or like a funny clip afterwards with the high point in the music. So this song right here, I actually took this from a middle part of the song. It's like an exciting part of the song. So I'll play it again here so you, you can get a feel for it. Uh, no, it was great. <laughs> So if you watch my vlogs, I, I typically end it the same kind of way where it's like the music comes on really loud and it's usually like a cool part of the song. I'm, I'm very specific about that. Because if you hear the beginning part of the song, it's still good, but in my opinion, it's not, it's not that boom ending scene. So I'll play the beginning part of the song. <laughs> Right? It sounds like the beginning of a song. It sounds like a buildup of a song. Whereas this part is like, you know, it's right in the crux of it. It's right in the exciting part. So this part of the song I found very fitting for the end. And I usually do that for about 10 seconds or so. And then I add a fade out. This is manually done. I added a fade out to the song, which it's in my favorites, but you can find find it in the audio section. This part right here, which is the fade out, and that's why you can see that that decline in the audio there, that, that was done manually. And this part right here also was done manually. Editing vlogs is one of my favorite things to do because one, I like filming with the GoPro. It's totally fun filming with the GoPro. And two, I'm usually filming something exciting and fun, and in this case, for a while now, been wanting to show the behind the scenes of our, uh, you know, our weekly mastermind live streams. And again, if you saw the beginning part, I added also, you know, this nice little touch with the the time popping up on the screen. So I'll play it here. All right. So it is Thursday at five twenty-three. I'm talking about time specifically, and I thought it would be cool to add like this, you know, calculated time thing. Instead of just having the time pop up on the screen, as it would still look cool, but I think that it adds more when you add a transition, which I added the glitch transition. I added a, what's called a calculation sound effect, and it's specifically like a, like a technology type sound. Having the time text, which is just text, this right here, and I just changed the colors. 
adding a glitch transition, which you can find in the transitions under the glitch section. It was glitch one. And then adding the calculation sound. So it's all these little things, all these little gems that you add to your videos that make it visually appealing for the person, right? Give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. It lets me know that you appreciate my time to make this video for you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.